Cognitive load comes in three types, intrinsic, extraneous, and germane. These add up in order, meaning if the demands of the first two are too great, there's less room for germane load before cognitive overload occurs. The first type is intrinsic load. This refers to the innate difficulty of a task for a particular learner. This is determined by the number of novel elements and the level of interactivity between the elements. Given working memory is limited to somewhere between three and seven novel elements interacting at one time, but long-term memory is unlimited, the more elements a learner holds in long-term memory schemas, the easier the learning task will be, because working memory is only limited when dealing with novel information. So a task will have a base level or intrinsic load affected by the complexity of the task, the expertise and the working memory capacity of the learner. The second type is extraneous load. This is the additional load imposed by poorly designed instructional materials. Any unnecessary details included in instructional material like funny cat memes or background music or unnecessary anecdotes or flashy but useless animations causes some of the students cognitive capacity to be spent dealing with that. If you use poor fonts, speak in a monotone, or use complicated vocabulary, this also imposes extraneous load. It's anything included that does not directly contribute to the learning goal. The third type is germane load or generative load. This is the mental capacity that is directed towards integrating the new information with existing knowledge. This is what we aim to encourage. One way to think of it is that this is the part of your mind going, oh, I get it, that's like, and linking to some past knowledge when you learn something. If we overload the brain, we leave no room for these valuable thoughts to occur. We can also directly encourage such thoughts in our design by including prompts like, remember when we studied a similar idea last week? So the aim of instructional design of any type is to manage how complicated a learning task is for our students, intrinsic load, reduce distracting material, extraneous load, and encourage germane load. Watch the next super short video to discover how learning is actually measured in cognitive load experiments.